You're in zero gravity. <laughs> Just look at this, bro. And then I like, watch if you touch the roof, it like bounces you around and stuff. This is so trippy, bro. We're learning anti-gravity mode. Um, wow, it definitely does work with blocks. <laughs> Look at this. The blocks are just literally hitting everything. Oh my. All right, first, under the blocks. Then, place this in the seat. Place the cake on the seat, like this. Then, place two of your best thrusters, like this. For most people, it'll either be this thruster or this mega thruster. Now, remove the seat. Go to settings, over here. And turn graphics quality over here to max. Now, you may be wondering why we did that. Well, let me show you. Now, place the switcher lever and press it. Jump. And now, go as high as you can. When the map completely disappears about here, select these thrusters with the screwdriver tool and then anchor. The higher you anchor it, the more time you have in zero gravity. Now, place a portal here. Anchor it though, very important anchor it. And paint it any color you want, I'll go with red. Now you can remove the thrusters and the cake and reset. Ooh. Now, place a portal here and paint it the same color you painted the other portal. Here you can remove the switch. Now, you may be wondering why whenever you go in this portal over here, you start falling instantly and you don't even see the portal. Well, it's an easy fix. Just save it and reload. And now, there you go. The portal is here and you don't instantly fall. Anchor blocks and place a block. Now just start making your zero gravity room. By the way, you can make the walls really thin to use those blocks, so yeah. You can make it any size, but I recommend really big. And you'll see why when you show another really cool build trick in just a second. Remove this wood block. And let's make it taller. There we go. This size is pretty good, but you can make your room even bigger. When you zoom inside the room, everything will be dark. So just select all the screwdriver tool and turn cast shadow off. There we go. Now, here's the build trick I was talking about. If we place a stud block in the middle, like that. And we make it very thin, like this. And then just scale it out. Make it pretty big. You know, scale it this way, that way. It's in the middle more. There we go. Basically exactly in the middle. Then we painted this color. Now make a circle out of this, but using 15 degrees over here. Whoa, that actually took like 30 seconds, not even a few minutes. You know, it also just takes a few seconds to do. Liking and subscribing. Please consider doing it, it really helps me out. And I post some really awesome build build tutorials like this one. You can always unsubscribe later. Now just paint all of them and... You can already see how cool it looks on the outside, but on the inside it's even cooler. So awesome, like I never saw any pattern like this in build -about. But when you zoom all the way in, it looks really, really trippy. Very awesome. All right, next, place a block in the middle. If you didn't do the floor trick, just use this cool uh, scale feature like this. So you select the floor scale tool and then we'll show you where the middle is by the middle warp over here. And make this, uh, let's say, here, let me see the scale number over here to two. Let's make it about this big. So over here should be two, 30, and then two. Now, anywhere you want, uh, I'm gonna go about here, place three blocks about, and then place a pilot seat. You can remove those three blocks if you want. Then pick another area and place three blocks as well. One, two, three, and pilot seat. Remove this. If you haven't guessed already, these are gonna be our zero gravity seats. If you want this room to work for more people, just add more seats. Now in the middle or really anywhere, but I recommend the middle, place another portal. Painted a different color than the other portal. So I painted the other portal red. So this one I'll paint purple. And on top of this pole over here, place two golden or dragon harpoons. Well, for me, it'll be two. If you place more seats, of course, then place more harpoons. Then place a switch near each pilot seat. And make sure only the switches are binded to the harpoons. So let's unbind the pilot seats to the harpoons. There we go. Only the switches are binded to the harpoons now. Okay, now make this pole over here invisible and uncollidable. And the circle outside, select all of it with the screwdriver tool. Only the circle though. There we go. And make that uncollidable. We're still going to walk here even though the floor is uncollidable because we have a metal floor that is collidable. Alright, now make this wall over here uncollidable so you can walk through it. Then make it collidable again. By the way, join our new awesome friendly Discord server in the top of the description. Soon, we'll be doing frequent events like game nights where you can even play with me sometimes, movie nights, and more. There's also my very own VIP billable server in the Discord as well as updates and sneak peeks in my future videos. You don't want to miss out on all that, do you? Join now in the description below. Next, put on a jetpack or wings. I'm gonna go wings, but you can do a jetpack. Then select everything with the travel tool. Make sure everything is selected. Yup, it is. So select everything except this portal over here. So deselect this one. Okay, now watch carefully. So this up arrow over here on the travel tool, above our big room, we're gonna hold this arrow. Then we're gonna hop in a portal and instantly start flying so we don't fall down. And then we're just gonna let go. And now the room should teleport over here. And when you zoom inside, everything should be there. Good. Now remove this portal over here, the red one, and reset. Ooh. Now paint this portal the same color that he painted the other portal inside the room. 
So for me, it's gonna be violet or purple. We go in here and you just teleport me inside the room. Okay, now select any block. I'm gonna go with stone. Then make sure blocks are anchored and set the rotate setting over here to 15. Now zoom all the way out out of the room and look below it. Now below the room on the edge over here, tilt the block five times like this, then place it. Now scale like this. This is good, but actually let's make it a little bit further away like this. Okay, this should be good. So make yours as close as possible to mine. Then scale it like this. And then scale it to be about in the middle of the room. So about here. And let's make it a little bit thinner. Here we go. All right, now let me show you to actually make it work. So every time we load it in, just send a seat. Have anyone else who also wants to be zero gravity, send another seat as well. Then press the switch over here and harpoon yourself. Then important, remove this port over here. Here you can make these harpoons transparent if you want. I'm gonna do that, cause why not? And when ready, select that with the screwdriver tool. Deselect this block over here, very important. Otherwise the room won't spin there. And unanchor. And now, zoom all the way in, and you're in zero gravity. <laughs> Just look at this. Bro, and like, watch if you touch the roof, it like bounces you around and stuff. This is so trippy, man. What if I jump? Um, uh, that would probably was not a good idea. Uh, 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 what was happening? Um, what is going on? Yeah, okay, so it lasts about, I think, 20 seconds, maybe 30 seconds. If you moved your room even higher, then it'll last longer for you. But yeah, eventually, the entire room will fall down to the stages. Wow, Seikator's anti-gravity room is really, really big. By the way, huge, huge thanks to Seikator over here for making this incredible anti-gravity room trick. He's a legend, man. This trick is so awesome. And we're in anti-gravity mode. Oh, uh, what is happening? Um, um... Um, this is so trippy, bro. We're literally in anti-gravity mode. Um, I accidentally attached the pilot seat to the actual, uh, room. Uh, um, and now there's a bunch of blocks flying around. <laughs> wow, it definitely does work with blocks. <laughs> Look at this. The blocks are just literally hitting everything. Oh my gosh, wow. <gasps> and now I died. Wait, I have an idea. What if you use thrust as well and no gravity? Well, let's find out. I'm gonna use this red thrust because I can actually activate it with the pilot seat. So yeah. Okay, ready? Oh, mine. Mine kind of works, but it's way, way, way too fast. Uh, oh my gosh. Um, uh, I forgot to remove the butter blocks, but everything is kind of floating. Um, let me try to reach the switch. No. Come on, come on, come on. No, I missed it. No. Grab this. Oh my gosh. If I jump, then it, uh, uh, uh. Now I'm just hanging outside the room until we fall to our doom. Uh, yeah. Basically, what this block does is, when we unanchor everything except this block, the room will fall and slide on the block, causing the room to tilt and rotate constantly in the air. If we don't add this block though, the room won't tilt and it'll kind of be boring, so yeah. But if they make the block real really weird shape and move it closer like this, the room will rotate even faster and be even more crazy. 